And now it's my joy to introduce Eshbon to you. He is now going to share with you how the Lord has worked in his life and uh, given him salvation. Um, morning, church. Um, my name is Eshbon, and I was born and raised in a Christian family in Pakistan. My dad was an evangelist, and every morning I would see him doing his Bible reading and prayer before doing something else. Both of my mom and dad were good examples as Christians who lived their faith out every day in front of me and my brothers. Growing up, I thought that I was saved because I said I was, I was a Christian. I knew Christianity was the true religion, but I didn't have, my, have a personal relationship with Jesus. Both of my parents were working for the school system in Pakistan. My mother was a teacher in the Christian school that I went to, and my dad was treasurer there. Although it was a Christian school, there were more Muslim students studying there than Christian. Actually, I was the only Christian in my entire class from the first day of school until grade eight. I would often get bullied by them and had no friends. I was constantly getting rejected for my faith, which I didn't completely understand at the time. Eventually, we had to leave Pakistan because of persecution. So we moved to Malaysia as re refugees looking for a better future not knowing what living there as refugees would be would like. Refugees in Malaysia are not allowed to work by the government, and soon we ran out of all the money we brought from Pakistan. This was really a big change for us, and we had to move out of the house we were living in into a much smaller place. We had to sleep on the floors and often didn't have enough food to last for more than three days, and sometimes not even water to drink. But my dad and my mom uh, still had strong faith in God. Both of my parents would pray and fast, and soon after we started experiencing these difficult times, we started praying together every day as a family. We trusted God to help us, and he did. He provided us with food and all our needs, so our faith grew stronger. As Matthew chapter 6, verse 30, 31 to 33 says, Therefore do not be anxious, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But also, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. After that, we moved to Canada in 2015 for a better future that my dad wanted for us. But now I had taken some small steps in faith, but I didn't have a personal relationship with God yet. We came to City Center and I soon joined the youth group and started developing a hunger to learn more. With the guidance of my youth leaders and pastor, I had a lot of amazing experiences through this time, but it was at Snow Camp 2016 that I made a decision for myself to accept Jesus as my personal savior. And it was during the time on Saturday night after the preaching when all the youth group split off to pray for one another. I knew I wanted to take my faith more seriously and to really learn and grow in Christ. I know now that I have a real relationship with God, so I want to get baptized to take the, new, the next step in following Christ and continue walking with Him in my own personal relationship. Thank you. Because of your profession of faith, Eshbon, it is now my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 